For more than a decade, Sister Wives has captivated audiences and given them an inside look at plural marriage. She's a sister from the same mister, and he's a brother from another mother. However, with only one of the relationships still going strong, the upcoming season finds the Brown family more fractured than ever. I don't want to be married anymore. I just wanted to let you know I'm not going to be around. Now, Cody Brown is opening up about an emotional last few years. The process of this entire experience has basically been sort of a up and down, you know, like just, just a, to be fair, a total roller coaster ride. Um, the roller coaster was fun for a long time, even though it was, uh, you know, it was challenging. We had a lot of challenges. Um, it's just moved to a place where there's been a lot of heartbreak. And when you go through that entire thing, you know, you deal with all these different emotions, very, it's not clean. But now I feel like I've hit the bottom in a deep, deep swimming pool and I pushed off the bottom and I'm headed to the surface. Um, that's the optimism of today. Just hoping that we move forward with a lot of forgiveness and, um, and finding that place where love and grace prevail again. Cody doesn't shy away from taking responsibility for his role in the demise of the marriages. I could have done a lot better. I mean, I'm not going to sit and name them, but there's, there's every day I'm, I think about a place where if I would have managed things differently, if I would have said something differently, we might have moved, moved forward in a different way. And it's, it's hard to say that because you get in a place where there's been a breakup and you feel like, okay, is, is my life still headed the direction that it's supposed to? I mean, this breakup has happened and if you just look at life with a lot of questions, you go, okay, this breakup has happened and this is part of my life. And well, because it happened, I'm just going to say it happened. It was meant to be. We're here. Deal with it. Move on. And every day you just forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive others because we're not going back to where we were. And I have to accept that with, and, and, and I want to get to a place where I'm accepting that with um, uh, ambitions for happiness. And I want to get to a place where I'm accepting that with, uh, with a heart full of grace and love moving forward in my life. Yes, we're all moving forward. We're all seeking happiness and we will all find it. And he's open about whether he could see himself in another plural marriage one day. I'm not, not an advocate of plural marriage, but I've had my own experience in it yeah. and I've had my own failures in it. And because of that, I'm like, just, you got to be really, really wise about who's doing it, how they're doing it. And to be fair, if you know people very, very, very well, maybe it'll work. But there's those marriages that have people who know each other very, very, very well, and they still don't work. Yeah. I don't have the answers. When I was 25, I had no experience and all the answers. And now I'm 55 and I have all the experience and zero answers. <laughs> Let's be fair, there are very successful plural families out there. Um, and there are a lot of plural families that either struggle through life with all the difficulty or break up. And I think, um, Anytime that you have religious philosophies, you, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle with God. You're going to struggle with your spouse. And that's an opportunity for people to grow. So I believe plural marriage is about growth, about self-development, about finding that, that goodness through difficulty. Mm -hmm. And I think that plural marriage is extremely difficult as a result of that, I just have no interest in ever trying plural marriage again for many reasons. Despite the challenges, Cody says he's trying to focus on forgiveness as he looks towards the future. Really, I just look forward to a future of a lot of forgiving and a lot of just more understanding. But it has it, it has been sad and um, challenging. I got to admit, there's something, few things that have happened recently that have really, built, I guess you could say, built my confidence back mm -hmm. because it just, it destroys your confidence when you go through a, a divorce or a family breakup. But I feel like my confidence is coming back. <clears throat> um, I got to find uh, that space of grace and love for myself as well, mm -hmm. be it really forgiving um, of, 
you know, just of simple things like just being angry about what has happened. I want to forgive myself for that and sort of move on. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a journey that goes inward and it's a journey that's outward. You have to express forgiveness to uh, the people you've been involved with. You have to express understanding and hope that at the end of an era for us as a family, we still have hope of a friendship and a loving or kind relationship with each other in the future because we're bound forever through our kids. For more with the stars of Sister Wives, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.